Okay, today we are gonna start the circle of Willis, what is called that cerebral sulcus, as we can see here. We need to know that the main vessels are coming from where, so we will look at the little view here. We'll see that from the aortic arch, we are having here the branches follic trunk that is giving the branch here as the big one, which one is going upward, okay, that we call that common carotid artery. This common carotid artery at the level between the C3 and C4 is going to divide into branches, what we call that external carotid artery and the internal carotid artery. The internal carotid artery will carry on upward and the passing through the carotid canal and enter into the cranial cavity. We will stop here and let's begin from the downside again to take the next vessel, which one is contributing in the circle of Willis. We got here the second branch of your branches for the that is going to your arm, um, what we call that the subclavian artery. Subclavian artery is giving the branch here, which one is going up, what we call that vertebral artery. Vertebral artery is passing through the transfer for mania of your cervical vertebrae. It is passing through from the upper six transfer for mania from the seventh one it is not passing. Okay, so that is passing from the Vertebral, so we call that vertebral artery. Vertebral artery is going to enter into the cranial cavity from the foramen magnum at this place. And the both sides, the left and the right vertebral artery, join together and make the basilar artery. Basal artery is giving the small, small vessels on both sides, what we call that pontine's artery. And at this place, that this is a superior cerebellar artery. But it's terminal vessels, those you are going to make, that is the posterior cerebral arteries okay posterior cerebral arteries we will stop here now we will start from the internal carotid artery internal carotid artery is going to give the branch here as it is mentioned as we call that middle cerebral artery anteriorly anterior cerebral artery so it is communicating with the backside here by the posterior communicating arteries Anterior both are communicating with each other by the anterior communicating artery. Except this, it is having the small branch here from the that is going into the eye side that it is passing with the optic nerve, what we call that ophthalmic artery. So we got here anterior cerebral arteries, middle cerebral artery, which one is just present on this side. In, the, it is, in this specimen, it is not shown, but actually it is also present on this side and the posterior cerebral artery. Anterior, middle, and posterior cerebral artery, and anterior and posterior communicating arteries, these are making the circle of willis. Okay, thank you very much.